Darren Kitchen wants to make one thing crystal clear. Hackers aren't out to steal your credit card information. Criminals are. The system's administrator and host of tech show Hack 5 recently sat down with Discovery News to draw a distinction between hacker culture and cybercrime. There's a difference between hacking, computer security, and then cybercrime. And I don't know any cyber criminals. I mean, I don't I wouldn't say that anybody should be arrested for trying to, you know, for putting their, their face on YouTube or, or Google at an airport. I mean, that's just good fun. But there's, you know, definitely cyber crime going on. I haven't met anyone that's into that. What Kitchen and his cohorts are into on their weekly video podcast is a DIY approach to everything from hacking a digital camera to building a cheap video arcade machine. One of the biggest misconceptions is that hackers aren't evil. I mean, hackers are just those guys that like to take apart stuff, maybe put it back together, change it. You know, um, I want to break my iPhone and make it do different stuff that maybe Apple didn't want me to do. And that could be considered you know, hacking on its most basic level. It's, uh, it's not being satisfied with what you have. It's, it's, it's uh, a thirst for knowledge and exploration. A thirst that sometimes does lead Kitchen into a bit of mischief. I have a malicious curiosity, and I do things in the lab that might get me arrested if I actually tried them on the streets. But that's not to say that I'm evil. I just, you know, having fun with, with tools. Tools like cell phones, video game consoles, and laptops that you probably use for their intended use. Bull ring. For hackers like Kitchen, every new gadget is a new opportunity. As long as there is curiosity, there will be hackers. As long as there is a device that has more potential than you know, the original manufacturer intended, there will be a hacker. And you know, as long as there's a network, there will be a hacker. I mean, remember, hackers are what built the internet. So you know, we will continue to build it with our exploits. And we're actually making it more secure by pointing out these flaws and then you know, developing fixes which is why so many hackers often land jobs as computer security professionals, literally patching the holes they themselves helped expose. It's kind of like the old chicken or egg argument. Right, what's really interesting about it is it's the yin and the yang. I mean, the, the industry actually created itself by, you know, in, in the 80s and even before, just all these hackers coming out of universities, good with computers, doing fun, you know, normally not malicious stuff, but, you know, breaking into some systems for fun, and uh, there was a need for computer security then. So it's both sides of the coin because the only difference between a hacker and a computer security professional is a paycheck. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.